Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Hearthstone. Sorry for that brief pause, my recording software was not time was not uh, keeping track of the time at the moment and I didn't know if the uh, recording would skip or not. Uh, last time we took on a rogue that was very, very lucky to top deck that win. Uh, I was at 2 health and he sinister striked and he top decked a sinister strike. He was one lucky son of a bitch. That's all I'll say about that. And because of that, we must now go to my hunter deck. No prey escapes. So let's get right into this now. Last time you learned that I had hypothyroidism. Which can be fatal if I do not take my if I do not take the medication required to keep it at bay, at bay. If I do not take that medication, uh, another thing you've learned about me is that I'm a is that I'm a heavy Power Rangers fan. Uh, my favorite one is has was probably the uh, original Green Ranger from Mighty Morphin. Go Jason David Jason David Frank. Uh, he has been a He's been driving force behind a lot of what I do. Uh, just being alive, he's driven me to do that. I guess another hunter, okay. Uh, no, actually, we want to keep these. This is a very good hand. But anyway, Jason David Frank... I mean, ever since I saw him in the very first... Power Rangers uh, in the very first uh, episode as the Green Ranger. He's been a source of inspiration for everything that I did. I joined Taekwondo because of Jason David Frank. He has been an awesome person in, his, in everything. I mean, he goes to conventions and he inspires people to, do, to, to be who they are every day. I love the guy. He is just so cool to be around. And he currently has a show on YouTube on the ch on the channel Bat in the Sun if you have if you guys have not heard of it. It's called My Morphin Life and it's all about Jason David Frank's life up till the uh, so far up to the uh Power Rangers the new Power Rangers uh Mega Mega Force movie that's coming out. We'll play this explosive trap. No fluffers. You can't come in. I'm sorry. Kitty meows. She's such a cute cat, though. Seriously. She's just a baby girl. She only wants in here because she thinks her mama's in here. Her mama's not in here. Her mama's out there. But anyway... He has just been a driving force in everything that I am and that I do. I am alive. I have been alive in a way that I've never felt before since I've seen him in Dino Thunder. I was so happy to see Jason David Frank come back out. I'm scaring this guy to death because of this secret. I know I am. He does not want to attack me face first. But anyway... Jason has been just, he's been the, the reason that I am still alive. I, I might not be here today if it hadn't been for Jason David Frank being such an, a source of inspiration to me. Fluffers! You cannot come in here! She's not in here! No, she's not! No! She's sleeping! And you won't stay in the room that she stays in! Uh, anyway... I'm not ugh'ing because I don't like the kitty. She's a very, she's a very lovey kitty. It's just the fact that she's... Kind of doing this in the, middle of, in the middle of my video, but... I guess you guys would probably like that little kitty going meow! Behind the scenes. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something that I don't normally do, and that's throw out the Timberwolf. 
But anyway, it's a very Jason David Frank. If if you're watching this, I doubt you are. But if you watch this, thank you so much for just being who you are, even even though j just being not just Tommy Oliver, but Jason David Frank as you are. You're a very cool guy. I love watching the, the My Morphin Life series. I have not watched Power Rangers in quite some time because I thought that after after Dino Thunder, it kind of trailed off. I mean, I, when I saw when I saw that that Disney had taken over, I had honestly thought the worst. I thought that. Power Rangers would not be good, would not be as good as it as it started as ever again, and I completely apologize for such a misconception as that. And actually, no. After Dino Thunder, I did watch a couple of seasons. Uh, I believe I got up to Mystic Force and SPD, or SPD, and then Mystic Force, and that was it. But anyway. I just, it's just been an honor to, to even watch you on TV. Anyway, I am just, I guess you could just say I'm a, I'm a Tommy Oliver fanboy, but, okay, I will throw out the scavenging hyena. Normally I don't do this, unleash the hounds. And turn. But anyway, another interesting fact about me is that I I grew up I grew up with the realization, with the, uh, with in mind knowing that life wasn't fair. I did not get to play games like Castlevania or I did not own an Xbox. I did not own a Dreamcast. I was lucky to own the things that I did in life, like my Nintendo 64, or my GameCube was given by my cousin, uh, my PS2, I didn't even have a PS2 until like later on in life as well, so I missed out on a lot of things. That is to say that I, that I won't, uh, That is to say, I didn't play many games when I was younger. I never got to play Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I still can't. I can play it now, but I can't record it for you guys. And that's what I want to do. I want to record a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII for you guys. But, again, I just feel really bad. Okay, my puzzle trap is now triggered. That's interesting. I didn't think it would take him that long to trigger it. Suddenly he just went down from being able to do a lot of damage to being able to deal absolutely nothing. That was amusing. That tr I, I should have put that snapshot down to, down to uh, well I think he just summoned it so I couldn't have done anything but Definitely bringing that down to one. I'm not letting him keep something that powerful. But, I know I keep coming back to Jason David Frank, but uh, another another really good, another couple really good uh, Power Rangers guys that you guys might, might may or may not know. Uh, there is a, there is one that's actually fairly popular as a person that does some um, that does some voice acting for some Japanese animes. Uh, Johnny Young Bosch. He's the voice of Ichigo Kurosaki in 
and Bleach and a number of other different uh, a number of other different animes that I can't quite remember at the time. But he is he's a pretty decent guy too. He came he came back quite a few times in Power Rangers. Uh, I am aware that he is an RPM, but I've never gotten as far as Operation. O I mean. He used an Operation Overdrive, even though I never got that far into it. But another one is Austin St. John. Now, Austin St. John was the original Red Ranger of Mighty Morphin, not the one that took over after him. He is the original Red Ranger. He is an awesome, awesome guy. He gave me a birthday shout out for my 24th birthday, and I love this guy. He was genuine in his in his happy birthday wish. Chris, if you're watching this, I cannot begin to explain my gratitude to you. And we lost that one. That's fine. That's fine. But, seriously, Chris, you are one awesome guy for getting me that, for getting me that, uh, that birthday shout out. They were Austin St. John, Johnny Young Bush, and Jason David Frank are my top three favorite Power Rangers actors. I mean, Austin was only in there for just that one season and then the Forever Red, but he is still an awesome, awesome actor. Austin, if you somehow come across this, thank you so much for giving me that birthday shout out. You are the man. You are an awesome and I cannot begin to to describe to describe how awesome you are. There's, it's not possible. There's just no way that I could describe how awesome you are. But I am. I would just love to meet all three of them at once, just to shake their hand and thank them for being the people they are, because. They inspire me every day, just like the YouTubers inspire me. They inspire me to just be who I am. And there's there's nothing better than than being able to do that. Be who you are. I mean, if you can't be true to who you are, then how can you really then how can you really live with yourself? That's my opinion. You can't really go on living unless you live to be who you are. Yeah, I should have thrown out that tip of wolf. Not that early anyway. It doesn't matter, he's just got two mirror images. Oh look at that multi shot. Should have saved it. Oh, look at this. Dead. Dead. I know I, I know most of this video has been Power Ranger has been Power Rangers worship and stuff like that, but again, I'm I'm just such a huge fan of the series and everything. Now another fan another series that I'm a huge fan of is Pokemon. Now, while I don't have that much worship of Pokemon as I do of Power Rangers, it's been something that's allowed me to... It's not something that's allowed me to live, but it's something that's allowed me to be who I am as well because of the anime when I grew up watching it. I'm, I am very grateful to the people who... to. Game Freak, Nintendo. I'm a Nintendo fanboy. 
I grew up with the with the NES, the Super NES, the Nintendo 64, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, the big bulky Game Boys that you used to be able to get uh, that were colorless 8-bit stuff. I mean, there's just nothing more I mean, Nintendo has been who I grew up with. Like I said, I've I've had a Nintendo a Nintendo Entertainment System, also known as the NES or the NES. I've had the oh, Blizzard shit. That's yikes. Fuck you too, dude. Uh, I'm gonna pull my Bloodfin Raptor out of the range of that fireball. But anyway, I had an NES, the Super Nintendo, or the SNES. Okay, you took the Tundra Rhino, fuck. That wasn't good. Uh, I had a Nintendo 64, the regular Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance SP, the Nintendo DS, the DS Lite, the 3DS, the Wii, I even have, uh, my roomie has the Wii U, so I've been able to experience all of this really easily, and it's, there's just nothing like it. But I grew up with Nintendo. Nintendo has just been a main, the main center point of my affection for games. I have also owned the Sega Genesis. That's pretty much it, just the Sega Genesis. <coughs> this guy probably thinks I have, I have an answer to everything, pretty much. But, uh, like I said, Nintendo's been the, the, the centerpiece of my affection. I mean, I grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario, because of the Sega Genesis, but... Oh, he, he just quit. Okay. I'll give him a well played. Uh, just, again, it's been the center of my affections for a long, long, long time. I am a hardcore Nintendo fan. Let's go again with the No Prey Escapes deck. But it's just... That's been the centerpiece of my affection is Nintendo. A lot of people would say, Oh, you're biased, you're a Nintendo fan. Or, no, I'm not biased. I've played Xbox 360 games. I've played PS2 games. I My room here has a PS3 and a PS4. I've played those games. I, lo I love every console equally. Some are better than others. The Wii, the Wii U, sorry Nintendo, yes I grew up with you, but you guys don't have the best internet service. Uh, okay, it's looking like the internet's bogging down a little bit. We'll get rid of the Timberwolf and the Unleash the Hounds. Uh, Sony. There's not really much I can say bad about Sony. Their PS2 is a pretty decent console. Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 are are like my favorite games of all of all time. Uh, my greetings. Greetings, uh, let's see. There's also the. Uh, I mean, again, the, there's not much I can say bad about the PS about the PlayStation. I really haven't used their online services, but I've heard I've heard good things. I mean, it's easy to attack supposedly. Again, I wouldn't know. I don't go around attacking PS2 servers. 
I mean, who do, who does that? Who goes around and attacks Playsta the PlayStation the PlayStation servers and stuff for games? Do you really have nothing better to do than to sit there at your desk and try to DDoS all these servers that people spend money to keep up? It doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, the Xbox 360. Microsoft has... I can't say anything bad about Microsoft. I mean, the only thing they really have a problem with is the fact that they... Is that, uh... I mean, the Xbox One, I believe, was a step back from the 360. But I haven't played on the Xbox One yet, so I wouldn't know. Hmm. Don't really have much I can do right now. Anyway, I uh, I'm just getting shit for ha for our hand right now. Uh, let's see. The PS4. I've only played Shadows of Mordor and um, what else have I played on it? I played Shadows of Mordor and Dynasty and Samurai Warriors 4. That's pretty much it. Oh, I played Wars Orochi a little bit, I think. It's a pretty decent machine. I like I like the graphics and stuff like that, but that's that's all I can say. Is that I like the graphics. There's not much I can really say about it. Uh But, uh, the Xbox One, I mean, uh, only bad thing I can say about Microsoft is that they don't like cross-platforming. That, that, that in and of itself is not a bad thing. Uh, they bought out Minecraft recently. I mean, you can't, you can't really do that be that much with, Mac with Minecraft at the moment. Mods are a thing. I've played the Pixelmon mod, a Bleach mod, a Dragon Ball Z mod. Uh, I mostly played the Pixelmon mod, which is a Pokemon for Pokemon mod for it. But that's really all I can say is that they have a very good is that Minecraft was easily modded thanks to Notch giving out the uh, giving out how to mod it pretty much. I don't know what they call it, but the, he gave out the he gave out the source code for Minecraft so you could easily mod the game. The only thing that's missing is an API built into the game to allow you to actually use it. Really? Uh, there goes my plan to beef up the to beef up the creatures, or not? That was actually a pretty good top deck getting the Bloodfin Raptor like that. But Nintendo, you have a horrible online service. Not to mention you can't re you, I mean being unable to use to play other games unless you link your Club Nintendo account to it and making making the that Wii U the only Wii U you could ever you could ever link your Nintendo Club account to is just horrible design in general. Uh the PS2, the P, the PlayStation, I wouldn't know much about that. It's a pretty good system. Though. It's a pretty good system in of itself. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? The Xbox 360. Only bad thing that I can think of is that it doesn't. They don't like cross-platforming with some games. Uh. That's pretty much all I can say about that, really. Everything else can everything else that I can think of is overwhelmingly positive to most of it. Great graphics, stuff like that, you know.
But anyway, yeah, this this will probably be the last game of this uh, of this session. Uh, let's see. That was only meant to be a short burst of damage. But anyway, this game is pretty decent. Hearthstone is very easy to get hooked on. Only reason I play this all the time is because it's the only game I know I can actually do. It's the only game I know I can actually play. Yeah, you're not you're not using that chill one yet, dude. But it's just a very easy game to pick up. It's playable on most systems. I can play it on this computer. I can play it on my desktop, which I believe is actually worse than this laptop, which is hard for me to believe. I'd like to eventually get a better laptop to play games such as... Such as... Uh, the Forest, Seven Days to Die. I mean, I'd really love to play Seven Days to Die for you guys. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, League of Legends, I don't know if I can record that, I'd have to try that at one point, try recording a full thing of it. Uh, let's see what else. This guy's really focusing on spell power, I did that one time. Didn't work out very well for me, but it's working out pretty well for him. Let's see, what else? What else could I talk about? What else could I talk about? There's not really much I can really talk about. Uh, back in 2000... Back in 2008, I went to a... Back in 2007, too. Uh, 2007, 2008, I went to a uh, technical school called Wifukuchi Technical Institute, and I ended up and I ended up becoming a uh, I ended up becoming a becoming certified with CompTIA for their 601 and 602 A plus certification. That's how I uh, got to the point where I could do that. I lost this one. I lost. Uh, I lost this game. But yeah, that's. I, I have 601 and 602 certification, so I'm hoping that I can really help some of the people around here with their computers and hopefully get a little money on the side while I'm doing so. So that is all for this video. Uh, I will finish this up in, a ne in the next video, hopefully. Uh, if it turns out that I do win early, I will probably just play like Rule the Warlock or something to make sure that I can even it out to, 30 to a near 30 minute video. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys think that, J that Jason David Frank is probably one of the best actors that has ever lived. I personally think that he's one of the best, one of the best actors, if not the best actor that has ever lived so far. Uh, but again, I'm biased. I'm biased when it comes to Jason David Frank. JDF all the way. Anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you think if you think that I should uh, that I should try to stream, not stream, uh, record a League of Legends match if I can. I will even show you all of my vi all of my def all of my defeats, uh, my defeats, my victories, everything. So again, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you, th if you think I should try another game like League of Legends. I will see you in the next Hearthstone video. Gamers, game on!